Okay, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises. Let me say Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Baracha Kodash. All right, double honest to my apostles and elder bishops here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Tazer War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, just going to do a quick lesson. Uh, Lord willing, Baba Bashai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh allow the lesson to be edifying to those of the hopeful elect. All right, for you men. All right. Uh, sisters that are not offended in the word you know may Yahweh Bashim Yahushai bless you all right you and your families so I want to um I did a lesson like this before um basically it's a lesson that we all know which is the topic of praying and um praying is is very key it's it's a must it shows a, a form of uh a faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai all right, you know, um, faith is, is key because faith is how we're going to be saved. If the Heavenly Father gave you the gift of faith, then you're going to be saved. All right, as long as you endure to the end, you know, and that same faith, right? And um, one thing about praying is an, is an act on faith. All right. And when you pray, you must believe that, you know, he's going to. You know, do according to what you ask because you're 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 basically demanding, you know, in a way, you know, you're asking, but you're demanding and you have belief and you believe because you know that the father is going to do these things through the son. Yahweh shot. Right. He's going to do these things that you need, you know, or do the things that give you help so that you can continue on in this ministry and serving the Lord and praising his holy name you know what's good what's good of you if you you know you're in the grave all right Apostle Paul uh, from reading what he said is that um you know he was betwixt between the two how you know he wanted to be in, a, in, a, in a, with the father and the son in the spiritual realm right but he knew it was needful for him to be in the flesh for those of the hopeful elect. So, you know, he would rather be here in the flesh to do the work so that the elect can get it, you know? Because how you taught, you're taught by anointed, faithful men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? And uh, this is how you taught this word. And this, the, the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding is, is key. You know, these are all those attributes in the Lord's elect that they're going to receive from the Heavenly Father through other men. And of course, through their own experiences, which proves the scriptures and proves their faith. Um, now, speaking about Apostle Paul, right? But uh, just recently, uh, you know, I had a, I prayed for something and, and uh, more than once. And I took the uh, initial step to uh, act on it, you know, meaning, you know, I prayed upon it, I prayed on it. And I did according to what the scriptures say. And, you know, being the head of my house, you know, priest slash, you know, prophet as well, you know, because it's ways the Lord teaches us on things to do, especially for healing. Um, the Lord came through and he came through and answered my prayer and I'm gonna say immediately you know immediately you know after a few times you know well maybe yeah, I'm gonna say immediately within a day you know within that hour and it was a blessing because the situation was is an emergency and come to find out you know uh, didn't have to do the extreme, the extreme, you know, have to go, dip, had to go further into, you know, what you don't want to do, you know, prayer is everything, man, let me say this, you know, the Lord answered my prayer immediately after I prayed, 
and I perform the act in the scriptures, you know, the uh, anointing the head, you know, and ask for the Lord for some healing uh, for for my rib, and um, and and the Lord came through. He came through right away, man. All right, and then you got Satan, right at the same time, you know, pushing the the, the fear demon, and you know. The Lord came through and I'm going to say a day, two days later, I realized that the Lord came through, you know, without making a long story, you know, and I'm thinking of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy for his mercy. And, you know, when we servants and when we believe and we put forth the act and, you know, we, we, um, what's the word I want to use? We, uh, confess and we do the do. Right, we do his will, the Lord comes through for you, man. All right, he comes through. And this is countless times, as many times, you know, in situations, the Lord, you pray in the Lord, he come through for you. And we need that help every time. So I just want to spread the message that look, man, don't forget to pray. Like Yahweh Shai said, pray without ceasing. It's very important to pray, man. All right, it's very important to pray because when the Lord comes through, you praise him. You know, what good is this? What good is it if we're in the grave? You know, how could we please the Lord if we're in the grave? You know, we please the Lord while we're right here in the flesh. And we we give our testimonies and you know, we speak the, the uh we speak on we speak of the things that the glorious uh miracles and the things that the most high do, we speak of it to give him his praise and glory. You know? Is when we're praising and serving him and exhorting his name. This is very important. You know, his name is, is very important. The scriptures say the uh, name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So, you know, I just want to say, man, you know, the water Yahweh Bashim was shy because the Lord always come through. You know, sometimes you might think, <laughs> you know, it'd be at the last minute, but, you know, when you when I'll say the last minute because you know how you be feeling like man, you know well if this is you know either this or or this, and at that last straw the Lord end up always coming through, you know, so pray man. So let me bring out a quick precept, right? This is uh, Romans twelve and twelve. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulations, continuing instant in prayer. You know that that's a mouthful right there. Even though that was just straight to the point. Rejoicing in hope. We're rejoicing in the hope that we have to walk Yahweh Bashmi Shai for the kingdom to be right here on earth, man. All right? We're rejoicing, you know. When we think of the kingdom, we think of the brotherhood, think of you know how the Lord, the scriptures, how the work the word teaches us, and uh uh the, the Lord blows his breath upon us to inspire us, and we think of, of Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai, we rejoice. You know, because we know how great it's going to be in the kingdom compared to the misery and the hell that we're going through now. So it says rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation. And that's key because you want to be patient. Patient means to suffer. You want to be patient in the time of, of your tribulation. So it says continuing instant in prayer. At the same time, your patience and your tribulation, you're praying. It's, a very, it's very much you have to pray, man. All right. That's why it's very important to be on fire in this truth, to be active, to be occupied in the work, to be charitable, to be brotherly, you know, all that good stuff. It's always great to do those things and be in that spirit of the Lord, because when you need mercy, the Lord comes through for you, you know, he don't forsake you, man. All right. So let me read this. First Thessalonians 5 and 16. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of the Most High in Yahweh Shai Mashiach concerning you. So pray without ceasing. It says rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. All right? You ain't supposed to be stopped. You know, you ain't supposed to take time off from praying. Meaning, you know, going days without putting prayers up. You know, going a length of time. You mean, I mean, you mean out the whole week you don't pray? You ain't catching enough hell then. You know, you ain't going through nothing if you ain't putting prayers up. If you're going a whole week without putting prayers up, you ain't going through nothing. You might not be active and occupied in the truth. 
You might be having too much pleasure, too much fun, too many distractions in the world, you know, than not to be having your mind focused on your Hawabah Hashem Shot. I mean, every day we pray. You wake up, you pray. You go to sleep, you pray. All right? We see news before you might do a lesson, you pray. You know? There's no excuse, man. Um, I looked this up before. The word cease. If something ceases, it stops happening or existing. So you're not supposed to stop praying. Now, of course, you don't, you know, you're not going to pray every second of the day. Let's not be simple here. You're not going to pray every second of the day. But throughout the day, the Lord being your thoughts, you know, the angel behind you may whisper in your ear and say, pray. You know, and I said this before and I said this many times, you know, if 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 your mind and the, if the Lord have the angels whisper in your ear about praying and you're thinking about praying, I will stop everything and just pray, you know, so that I don't push it off for you know to procrastinate and say you know i'm gonna pray when i go on break or pray when i get some space by myself because you're gonna forget it's a it's a possibility you're gonna forget man all right so pray without ceasing and ceasing is something it says if something ceases it stops happening or existing you know next thing you know you're not praying no more you're not in the truth you know that fear of the lord is not in you all right I wish this dude would get the fuck away from me. Oh, uh, Salakia, this is God beside me, man. Um, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 16, rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks. For this is the will of the Most High in Hamashiach Yahawashai concerning you. So this is the will of Yahweh. Pray without ceasing. Matter of fact, praying is prophecy. And somebody may well say, how is that prophecy? You got to know the scriptures. You got to know prophecy. In the book of Revelations 8, and in the very end, the angel, right, with the senses, he's going to bring the prayers of the saints, which are the Israelites, the elect, right? And starting with the elect, he's going to bring those prayers to the Heavenly Father, and the Heavenly Father is going to hear those prayers, or, you know, he's going to smell of those incense, and he's going to remember the prayers of his saints, and he's going to bring forth the destruction. So really praying to the Lord is actually prophecy, man. All right? If you know the scriptures. So it says, verse 19, Quince not the spirit. Despise not prophesizing. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray the most high, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless Unto the coming of our Lord Yahawashai Hamashiach. Okay? So that's basically the point. Despise not the prophesies and quench not the spirit, man. Don't quench the spirit. Pray, man. When we pray, miracles happen. You gotta believe. You know? You gotta believe when you pray, man. You know, just fumbling words, mumbling words. You know, the Lord knows, but do you believe in what you're praying for? Is the fact that that goes a little bit deeper than just mumbling and fumbling words. Do you actually believe in what you're praying to the Lord for? Because it shows forth that you believe. All right? When you believe in what you're praying for, the Lord knows your heart. Um, Brought this out before. When we say our Hebrew prayers, you know, and you know, if you know the Hebrew, you, you know, you're praying in the Hebrew. Um, At the end of your prayer, of course, in the beginning, you're giving... Bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai three times. You know, Yahweh Bash me, I was shy. And uh, at the end of your prayer, you say Baba Kushai three times, which is please. You know, and also the water, which the water means thank you. So when you look at it, you think about it. I'm asking the Lord, I'm praying to the Lord, but I'm saying please, of course, because of, uh, you know, like Elder Pascal Bar said years ago, um, when you pray, it's a form of begging. I believe supplication means to beg. All right. So when you pray, it's, it is a form of begging, but it's also a form of demand because of help. You need help. You know, you need guidance or whatever the case may be. So when you say, please, 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 you also behind that, you say the water, the water, the water three times, meaning thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, if you're saying thank you to somebody, 
is is already as if you received it. So that goes along with your believing in what you're praying for. You know, we're going to perform miracles by praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahushad. The Lord is going to activate those powers in brothers, certain men. And because of their belief and because of their faith, because of their active, because of their ocu uh, occupying in the work, all right, because of their zeal, because of their patience, their sufferings through their tribulation and enduring, you know? So that was that. Philippians 4 and 6, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto the Most High. So this is how we communicate with our Father. Is we communicate with our Lord Yahweh. We pray. We talk to them. You know? Even though the Lord knows what's in the heart. But the scriptures also say you receive not because you ask not. Alright? Roughly paraphrasing. You know? Sometimes you don't receive because you're not asking. So it's best to ask. So the scriptures say be careful for nothing. Whatever it is. Whatever it may be. You know? When you... First thing what happens... You know, when you, you know, when you know you in the spirit you, or you know you, let me say this. When you've been in this thing for a little bit and I've been in this thing for a little small time, right? Not as much as my apostles and elders, of course. All right. I believe 14 years now. But you find yourself whenever trouble comes along. You know, the first thing you do and how you react is, you know, hey, how about you know, shot it Lord right there in your mind. Anything, a flat tire, a car accident, you know, anything, man. You know, a ticket, <laughs> anything. How about you now? The Lord's right there on my mind. He's on your mind. For those that's really occupying and active in the truth, that really believe, you know, and what you do right then and there, you put a prayer up, you know. Now, you don't probably go through the whole cadence of a meditational prayer, like you sitting down. You know, and you to yourself, but well, we call the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, and then whatever you say, the Lord knows what you, what what's going on. But for those that's occupied and active, you 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 know you you know you know. All right, if you know, you know. All right. It says, "Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving." Let your requests be made known unto the Most High. So let your requests be made known. You know? This is Ephesians chapter 6 and 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, the, and the sword of the, of the Spirit, which is the word of the Most High, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. All right. So it says praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. You got to be in the spirit, you know, you know, you know, now I'm thinking about uh, Christianity in the Baptist church, how they put on the um, they call it the Holy Ghost. And really, it's the it's, it's Satan, you know, it's demons on them to to act out and come go into this convulsion and to jump around and nod their head back as if some spirit took an over their body. And, you know, they all over the floor and doing things that they would never do. Or they don't even understand what the hell they're doing. They bug the fuck out. And the Holy Spirit don't possess you in a way where you, you turn into a demon. You know, the Holy Spirit is going to give you the true understanding. And then by size, this true understanding, when the Lord activate the Holy Spirit within a certain brother, that brother is going to be, be able to perform spiritual powers, man. All right. The way that Yahweh Shai were healing and doing all sorts of miracles, man. So that just show you that Christianity and the Baptist church, they're a bunch of dumbasses. Big dumbasses, man. All right. And to this day, they still do that shit. But the scriptures say, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, right? Because you want to be in the spirit. That's why sometimes in the camp, a brother be like, man, read with spirit, man. You know, and the brother, you know, he start reading in, in the spirit. 
if he ain't reading in the spirit right enough. Another a, a speaker, a brother may like it when a, a reader, he might favor the reader that reads that reads strong, you know, that reads strong, you know, read it in the spirit, huh? you know, sometimes brothers read and they just read it like, you know, we're not out there in the, um, in front of, in front of the people, you know, in front of anybody. They read it like as if they read it by themselves. So you got to, hey, I read with spirit, you know, and he, you know, he, he, he projects his voice a little more. He gets into it. You know, that's how we have to pray, you know. You have to build that that uh, relationship, and I, you know, I've gotten that from Elder Apostle Gabar years ago when he did that lesson. Uh, I think he did a lesson also with Apostle Aromla back in the day on the walk and talk. But it was a lesson he also did, and he said it from time to time, and that stuck with me. All right, building that relationship with the with the Lord, with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, building that relationship. You know. So praying with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching and that and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Now let me read this. This is Matthew 6 and 6. But thou when thou prayest, enter in thou into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Alright? But when you pray, use not vain repetition as the heathen do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. You know, you don't have to keep, you don't have to repeat yourself, you know, over and over and over when you pray. You just talk to the Lord, like as we're talking here, you know, you're talking to the Lord, having that conversation. You know, you think that Moses, when he spoke with the Heavenly Father, that he was going to repeat himself? No, he was speaking and having conversation, okay? So it says, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret. And thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Which shows you that, you know, your prayers are sacred. And it's between you and the heavenly father. You know, it's between you and the heavenly father through Yahweh Shai. All right. And you're not supposed to be, you know, like the Muslims do. Showing everybody. That you some sort of holy man, you know, looking for vain glory. You know, you're supposed to be praying in secret. So the fact so that, you know, the Lord in secret, he know he understands your sincerity. He knows, you know, that your sincerity is is, is real. You know? And then he says, What? And, and, and openly he rewards you. You know? So that's dope. You know, and that's that's those gems and those keys, man. The water you how about Shimei, I was shot for these instructions and uh his way his way is perfect man it makes sense when you sit down and meditate on the scriptures and how the lord favors this he hates that he loves this he dislikes that you know it, it's dope you know it's like man you know the father is so perfect it makes so much sense so that's basically the lesson i wanted to do a quick one pray man you know like i said what made me draw me to this is uh uh, because the situation my rib was going through and um you know uh I prayed a couple times and um and immediately the Lord came through you know when you know emergency happened and thinking that um you know because these devils boy you know they 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 love to push fear and say this and say that and if you don't do what they say you ain't gonna make it you know, but here it is. The Lord answered our prayer, answered my prayer, you know, which was her prayer as well, you know. And now we're just in the uh, and just recovering, man. You know, the Lord is uh, the Lord is perfect, man. That's all I'm gonna say, man. You know, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for being able to do a lesson and to continue on in this truth and hopefully endure to the end, you know, to be taken up on them ships. Or that ship to be changed to be a part of that elect the first resurrection man you know so with that i want to give all praise and honor and glory to yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim rakha rakha kodash double honors to my apostles and elder bishops here in great millstone who rule well salutations to the lord's elect shalom